The pandemic has made it more difficult for many small business owners to stay open, but for charities like Nourish Meals on Wheels, CARES Act funding has actually allowed them to expand their services to those in need. And that funding is about to end, and so too will the food deliveries hundreds of people depend on. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez with more on how one charity is hoping to rebound by staying the course. Inside Nourish Meals on Wheels in Littleton, volunteers are busy preparing meals every day. The meal of the day is packed into trays that make their way down an assembly line until being sealed, stamped, and rushed out the door. We really do try to take care of the needs of each of our clients. Diane McClyman says Nourish Meals on Wheels saw a 9% increase in demand back in March. Already delivering meals to people in need, CARES Act funding allowed them to add another service, grocery delivery. We have sliced carrots and corn and peas. But now the once a week grocery delivery is ending as CARE Act funding dries up at the end of the year. This is the most basic way you can give. Margie McKenna, a volunteer driver, says she's grown to know the people she delivers food to over the years. This COVID has caused so many problems, but it also, for the regulars that we've been serving for several years, for them, the uh, isolation is really disturbing. And every meal signifies a lifeline. I found that I was just eating the same thing all the time, which is pretty dumb. And uh, I just, I just don't know how I would survive if I didn't have it. It's a godsend, I'll tell you. Diane says the goal is to continue grocery delivery into the new year. Because although the CARES Act funding ended, COVID did not. That means taking advantage of grants, food bank programs, and help from the community. Even though there's a light at the end of the tunnel, it's still going to be a different year. Every meal and grocery bag delivered ensures people are taken care of during an unprecedented time. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.